Hello dear students, welcome to 10th standard social science geography. Today in this video I am presenting highlights of India geographical position and physical features. In this part, we will tell important points that you should have heard. If you have heard of it, you so let us start without wasting time highlights of the first lesson in geography so mention the following northern tip of india southern most tip of india and southern tip of mainland of india likewise indian standard meridian total area of india importance of the tropic of cancer ee reethi aaru points galanna kottidini you must learn them out of this, in this slides, I am giving you the answers for the first three. Northern tip of India is Indira Kol. It is in the Ladakh Plateau. Ladakh Plateau. Southernmost tip of India is Indira Point. It is at 6 degree, 4 minutes, 5 seconds latitude north. Likewise, the southern tip of mainland of India is Kanyakumari. It is at 8 degree, 4 minutes. Likewise, Indian Standard Meridian is 82.30 dash East Longitude is the Standard Meridian of India. So, this Standard Meridian is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of Greenwich Meridian time. The total area of India is 32,87,263 square kilometer which occupies 2.4% of land in the world the tropic of cancer importance the tropic of cancer runs at 23 and half a degree north latitude this divides india into two equal parts now let us see the total number of states and union territories of india there are 28 states at present and eight union territories New Delhi is the national capital territory. The main four physical divisions of India are Northern Mountains or North Indian Mountains, Northern Great Plain, Peninsular Plateau, Coastal Plains and Islands. Mention the following. Peaks of Himadri. They are Mount Everest, Kanchanajunga, Dhawalagiri, Nanda Devi, Gauri Shankara. Mention the mountain passes of Himadri. Himadri is the mountain passes so Burzil, Zojila, Baralcha. Even you can write Shiplila and Jilepla too. Mention the hills. Mention the hill stations of Himachal. Shimla, Musori, Nainital, Raniket and Chakrata. They are the hill stations of Himachal. The next slide. Mention the dunes of Siwalix. There are five to six dunes here. Dehradun, Kota, Patli, Chaukamba, Udampur and Kotli. Likewise, North Indian Plain is called Depositor Plain. Why? Because the entire plain is formed by the deposition of alluvial soils brought down by the rivers which rise in the Himalayas. The highest peak in the world is Mount Everest. Highest peak in India is Mount Ketu or Godwin Austin. The highest peak in Aravali is is Mount Gurushika. The highest peak in South India is Anai Mudi. What is Trans Himalaya? The range of fold mountains lying to the north of the Greater Himalayas is called Trans Himalayas. This Trans Himalaya consists of Karakoram Range, Kailash Range, and Ladakh Plateau. 
Now we have one more point, important one. Differentiate the western and the eastern gods. Very simple. The western gods are continuous. Eastern gods are not continuous because they are separated by rivers. Western gods are higher. The eastern gods are not higher. Complete the sentence. The two salt water lakes of the eastern gods are Chilka and Pulikot. The ports of the western coastal line are Gujarat coast, Konkan coast and Malabar coast in Kerala. The ports of the eastern coastal line are Kolkata, Paradeep, Vishakhapatnam, Chennai and Pondicherry. Dear students, like this you need to know the western coastal line ports also. Diu, Daman, Mumbai, Goa, New Mangaluru and Cochin. They are the western coastal ports. The two high peaks of the eastern ghats are Armakonda and Mahendragiri. Next, write the advantages of Himalayan range. Very important to these two points on your Kalilebeko. It can be asked either for two marks or for three marks. The Himalayan mountains have influenced the life of Indians to a greater extent. They provide protection to India by obstructing the cold winds from North Asian regions. They are the birthplace of many rivers. They farm vast plains. They facilitate hydroelectric power generation. They are the home to many types of plants and animals. They are a great treasure house of minerals and are also significant for tourism and religious centers. What are the importance of plateau of peninsula? The peninsula plateau has great economic significance. The reason for this is it has rich deposits of minerals, iron ore, manganese, bauxite, mica and gold. As the rivers have formed many waterfalls, they are the best suited for the production of hydroelectricity. List out the importance of the North Indian plain. The entire plain is formed by the deposition of alluvial soils brought down by rivers which rises in the Himalayas. The plain is flat, therefore, it is useful for transportation. The land is fertile due to alluvial soil. Rivers are helpful to generate hydroelectricity. List out the importances of the coastal area of India. The coastal area of India is helpful for export and import activity, fisheries, coastal cultivation, shipbuilding, salt production and the beaches attract tourists. And last, the coastal area is helpful for tidal energy production. Now we have important places located on the map. The first place is 82.30 dash east longitude, 82.3 minutes 0 degree that is longitude. Let us see. So the line, the blue line which you are seeing perpendicular is 82.30 east longitude. This is the standard meridian of India which passes near Prayagraj of Uttar Pradesh. 23 and half a degree north latitude. This is number 2 which divides India into almost two equal parts. 
नेक्स्ट थर्ड वन चिल्का लेक इट्स अ सॉल्ट वाटर लेक ऑन द ईस्टर्न कोस्टल लाइन इन ओडिशा उलिकाट लेक इट इज नियर चेन्नई इन द ईस्टर्न कोस्टल लाइन नेक्स्ट मैप द मलबार कोस्ट इन केरला नंबर वन कोंकण कोस्ट नंबर टू इंदिरा कोल इन लडाख प्लेटो इंदिरा पॉइंट इन द ग्रेटर निकोबार आइलैंड नंबर फोर नीलगिरी नंबर फाइव दट मीटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट एंड ईस्टर्न घाट नाउ द लास्ट मैप ऑफ इंडिया हि उत्कल कोस्ट नंबर वन कोरमंडल कोस्ट द ब्लू कलर कोरमंडल कोस्ट दट इज ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ सदर्न इंडिया जबलपुर नंबर थ्री दट इज जियोग्राफिक सेंटर ऑफ इंडिया के टू नंबर फोर इट इज इन काराकोरम रेंज दट इज द नॉर्दन पार्ट ऑफ हिमाद्री दट इज इन ट्रांस हिमालय नंबर फाइव रिवर नर्मदा river narmada is a western flowing river arrow mark is shown to the west dear students keep watching sps of online learning and watch this highlights at least two to three times so you will understand the entire lesson all the important topics are given here i wish you all the best thank you